What is going on my lions? Welcome. Today is Monday. I'm super excited to make this video for you guys. And something came up over the weekend. One of my students uh, that I've been monitoring uh, their progress on their product launch, um, they launched a product but with no results. So they, he came back to me and said, hey Tom, um, I did some of the things you told me, but how come I didn't have the results that I wanted? And I said, okay, what did you do? I started dissecting it and see what he did in his product launch and everything. And it was clear to me that he was missing the main step when it comes to product launch. So I thought I'll make this video to clarify some of the stuff that I've been talking about and that is very important when you are launching a product. So product launch is essentially the main goal of your product launch is to get on page one, right? So that's the main goal. Now there are four components to that. First of all is your listing. His listing was not optimized, nor the pictures were good quality. So that's the first point that we're gonna talk about. Um, uh, so what happened was a lot of the pictures that he had taken was with a cell phone. He didn't do a photo shoot, he didn't do a proper copyright, and that really affected his listing and the quality of it. That is your first, guys, that is your first point of impression to your buyer when you're posting your product. So please, please do a really good job at it. It is important that you have quality pictures. If you don't have the budget to do quality pictures, ask your supplier. Most of the time, they already have these pictures in their database. And when they sell the product to you from Alibaba or whatever that is, they're gonna, they're bound to give you these pictures if you ask for them and it's free of charge, guys. So make sure to get the pictures properly. Second thing was, is copyright was not marketable. Like it was not uh, written in a way to entice uh, somebody to buy the product. There was nothing, it didn't, mention, uh, it didn't mention solutions to any of the problems that that product faces. Um, it did not have the SEO, which is the search engine optimization. It didn't have a specific keywords that I've shown you guys how to collect on merchant words and apply it to your listing. And it just overall, like it did not appeal to the buyer. And that's why I think the main reason why his product didn't work it was because of these things. I'm like, okay, fine. So that's one thing. What else he didn't do? Second thing is reviews, guys. You got to get your initial reviews. You have to get your social proof, okay? So social proof is basically when you are driving by a restaurant, right? And you pass by it and you see there are a bunch of people going to this one restaurant. Well, there is the same food, probably better food, but there's nobody in the restaurant for whatever reason. Maybe it's timing of the day. Maybe this one is running a special or whatever. Automatically, you're attracted to the one that has a lot of people attending it, right? Because that is social proof. That shows you that this restaurant is probably better because this one has a lot of people attracted to it and this one doesn't. So therefore, you're going to go to the one that has a lot of people lined up for it. So that is social proof, guys. Work on your social proof. And the way we work on our social proof for our listing is to get the initial reviews. Now, there are two ways to get reviews. So which is our point two? Verified and unverified reviews. You have to get at least 10 reviews you have to work for that i mean instead instead of just sitting and letting your uh, product basically start selling because it's not going to sell if it doesn't have any social proof so our main goal here is to create that social proof with our product and to build sales velocity because the way we get to page one has nothing to do with anything else yes your product listing but uh, your optimization, but you you got to make sure that um, you have enough reviews and enough sales because Amazon's algorithm is going to read that and say, okay, this product has been selling. Let me push it. That's how you're going to get to page one. So he did not have his reviews. He didn't have verified or unverified reviews. You got to work on that. I, I suggest that you got to get at least 10 reviews. Why? Because if you have nine, right, it's not double digits subconsciously in buyers minds something that has double digits is a lot more even though it's one more subconsciously it seems a lot more so this is some of the marketing tricks that you have to learn when you're doing these things so get at least five unverified reviews and five verified reviews so unverified reviews basically you're asking somebody in your facebook group if you've joined or your friends or whatever it is my suggestion is always ask somebody who have you have not too much connection to because 
Amazon, um, uh, YouTube, everything is connected, like Google. So which means that if they detect that there is a little bit of like something fishy going on, um, the algorithm is not gonna work in your favor. So therefore find people in your Facebook group or somewhere that can actually provide you with some reviews and they don't have to buy the product. So that's your unverified review, right? Where they don't have to buy a product but they leave you a review. Verified reviews are basically they purchase your product. They purchase your product and they leave you a review. So there's a process for that. So you have to find people who are willing. First, you gotta contribute to these Facebook groups. Make friends, make some acquaintances, and then ask them, hey, um, I'm providing um, this product. I, I would like you to do a review. I'll do a full refund, you know what I mean? Like you'll send them through e-transfer or whatever. Can you purchase this product and leave an honest review? And I'll send you like maybe 110% um, of the price, not 100, so that you can compensate them for their time and effort. Get that going, get at least five of those. And you have to make sure that you write the review for them. Say, you know what, I'm gonna make it easy for you. I'll write the review, you just post it. And that actually saves them time. At the same time, they get a free product and they get a 10% money on top of it. So that's how you get verified reviews. And you do, don't do too much of it. I would say five is perfect, but make sure you have initial reviews and initial sales happening with your product. So spend a couple of days in the initial stages of your launch to get reviews. Make sure uh, people are posting it, monitor it, and like just be on top of your listing. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys, that it is very important that you do that. So once you've got your reviews, now you're ready uh, to go to the next stage, which is your giveaways and uh, coupon codes and stuff like that. Then you can start providing coupons on your product. Once you have some sales happening, that is gonna really push your sales. You say, okay, this product is, let's say 80% off. Okay, let me buy that. And Amazon actually puts a tag on your product when you provide a really amazing discount. So that's why we do giveaways and coupons. Coupons are very important once you build a little bit of sales. And I would not do coupons without PPC campaign because you wanna get the biggest bang for your buck. So uh, coupons and giveaways is your third point and PPC campaigns is your fourth. Once you have the initial reviews and you got a little bit of sales happening, however, you know, from your own doing, then you're gonna do giveaways, coupon codes, and PPC at the same time. And I've done a video on PPC, so make sure you check it out. Um, you do PPC and giveaways simultaneously because what happens is once you provide, start providing coupons, you want everybody to see that you're selling this product and you have to really push it with PPC. You have to like do a little bit of a higher dollar value in the beginning and really push your product out there in front of people so they can see that this sale is happening and you will see a boost in your sales. Like you're gonna see the first week you're selling um, tens of units, that's uh, per day. And that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna really give you that push. And then it's a chain reaction. Everything leads to your sales velocity. The more sales you have, the higher your product will go and your PPC will push that higher and your giveaways will push that higher. And that's how it flows. It flows to page one. That's how we do it, guys. You gotta do this systematically and not have to rely on just Amazon picking up your product. It's not gonna happen. You have to do these things in order to get the sales velocity that you need, in order to appear on page one and to make sales and to have a successful launch campaign. Now, the one thing about giveaways that I always, always tell my students is you gotta do giveaways based on the number of units your top competitor is selling their product. Go on Amazon, search your product, find the number one listing in your category. Let's say if they're doing, um, let's say if they're doing something like 10, 15 a day. And I don't mean those big sellers that are doing hundreds of units a day because your business is not gonna be able to sustain that uh, if you're a startup, right? So you gotta find the next competitor, like I would say between 10 to 15 units per day, and you gotta do giveaways based on that. Why? Because Amazon detects that there is a new seller that is, uh, his product is flying off the shelf 10 to 15 units a day. Let me push that up in the page. That's another secret booster that not a lot of people talk about, but it is an amazing magic when you get down to it. So guys, again, let's uh, recap. 
So we talked about social proof, right? Uh, we talked about a proper listing and doing it the right way. We talked about reviews, right? Which is part of your social proof. We talked about giveaways and coupon codes and we talked about PPC campaigns. This is the way you launch a product and guys, you're not going to regret it if you follow the system or the process systematically. Thanks again, guys. I hope you guys learned something valuable today. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit the bell button, give this video a like and a comment, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.